good morning. It is Tyler from Hydropower, Collegeville, PA. We've got a little Christmas light day ahead of us today. Let me get my keys. Um, two installs, but obviously it's very wet outside right now, so if it doesn't dry up soon, I don't think I'll get on the roof. One second. And I might just have to reschedule, but we're going to wait. I think it'll dry up. It's supposed to be nice for the rest of the day, warm up a little bit. But that's not saying much when it's, you know, 30 degrees out. So we'll see where we go from here. But I'm about to go pick up all my Christmas light equipment at my shop. And then we will be off and running to the first one. I might grab breakfast too. We'll see. Just kind of winging it today. I don't have to help her today, so I'll film. Um, but Christmas lights is starting to pick up, so I'm excited for it. All right, we're running late, but I'm off to the first one at 9 o'clock. Check it out. It's the little things like this. Get you a couple more eyes when you're up on the roof in a Santa hat. And customers will, or uh, neighbors will come and start asking, what are you doing on the roof with the Santa hat? And then you tell them you're hanging Christmas lights. And they say, come get me an estimate. So we're off to the first one. Be there in 30 minutes. All right, here on number one. Going across the top gutter line around the dormers. Up and down that peak, across it. That little metal roof right there. Around the porch roof and some mini lights on the columns. It's real wet on the roof still, so I'm going to start with what I can reach from the ladder. I'll do the porch lights first and the mini lights, and then probably at least that little gutter or at least that little metal roof right there. I'm going to be using the outlet to the left of the front door there, and I'll get started. Take down these two ladders. All right, did the layout around the front porch and around that little gutter. gutter. Fuck, why did you call it a gutter line? That little metal roof line. I'm going to start installing around the porch now. And then mini lights on the columns. All right, got all this hung. Set up a little 24 right there. All that's up. Porch lights are up. I'm gonna do the mini lights right now. Give the roof a little bit longer to dry off, but I think I should be good to get up there today and do the dormers in that top gutter line as well. So keep it posted. All right, got all the mini lights finished. It's important to make sure they're all pretty much evenly spaced. You can use your hand, hold it like that. Just use two columns or two strands per column. I think it's like four inch spacing. And now I'm getting started on this real steep peak. I had to do a little jump wire right there. We're gonna do an inline female on this line that goes all the way up and all the way down this peak. So I'm gonna go put my cougar balls on, lay out some lights, and then I'll probably check in when I'm at that peak, maybe. Let's see. Right up at the top of this peak, flew up this thing, went real fast. Everything's up here, and uh, I forgot to say this, that we did the lights on this house as well. You can see them over there. That's how we got this job, actually. Uh, but just gonna go ahead down right now and then i'll come back up flip the goat around get back down the ladder and then start on these roof looks dry enough so we should be good to go i don't think the pitch is too hard too so we should be good all right i'm up here on the roof measuring the dormers using the 32 foot ladder and we've got seven and a half foot on the left side and three and a half on the right so we're just going to add those two together and then double them and then cut that much cord and bring it up and that's how I like to do the dormers. That way you're not running back and forth, up and down. You probably just cut three things of lights and then come up here with the extension cord and, and get it done. All right, I'm up here on the third dormer. It's very windy, but I'm gonna show you guys a quick trick. So the dormers actually, if you get a perfect peak on them, you can go ahead and count how many lights are on one side until you get to the peak. So I went ahead and counted nine, and number nine tonight is gonna light is going to peak, so I went ahead and cut it so I can, Jesus, it's cool. so I can put it in there, and uh, it was back around the rest of the door over. Okay, Alright, got all the lights on the dormers and the extension cord set up, but I realized I did it like an idiot. I, uh, for whatever reason, did like a cord to do an inline female on each one of the uh, dormers were I could just connect them here. So I think I'm gonna switch some stuff around and do it like that. Probably use this one as the only actual connection. That way I can keep the connections the same on all the other ones, if you know what I mean. So I'll get started on that now and then just have that last gutter line to do. And I'll run power down that side. Right up here on the roof all wrapped up with the gutter line so that's all the lights that are going on this house just have to and look it, since i use black wire up here 
pretty much blends in. Also, a little, did like the inline female down there. But it's little stuff like this. When you have, you know, when you're charging anywhere from five to ten dollars per foot for Christmas lights, it gets expensive. And the little stuff like this is what people are looking for. Tuck that wire away so you can barely see it. So I'm just gonna have to set up a my 24 on the on the left side of this house, right over here. Run power up to it. And also I've got a little uh, part of extension cord that I have to do to connect this gutter line to that peak or that uh, strand of light. So I'll have to hop up here on this roof and then get it up uh, like down and around to, to supply power to these lights. All right, just about wrapping everything up. Did that extension cord over there and then ran power uh, from the outlet all the way up that downspout. Now I just have to do a little inline female right here to this mini lights, or to these mini lights, and then I'll do from that female up at the top down to those mini lights, and then I'll be wrapped up with the ladders away. Power run to everything, but having a little bit of an issue with the timer. It doesn't fit in this outlet, and it was installed backwards, so I can't even put it like through one of these things. So I'll just unplug it and come back later with a different timer that doesn't isn't shaped so stupid. But I did check and everything's on. Also, with the power, I thought I was going to be able to just go up the lights across and down the lights. Wasn't the case. Had to go across the stone because our males don't fit into these mini lights and these mini lights should have been put on the other way. So just make sure you think about you know how you're going to install everything because I would have been able to tuck white wire up in there. But that's it for this one. On to the next. By the way, that took me like three and a half hours. Um, and I want to say it was like maybe, I don't know how many foot of lights it was, maybe 200. I let me try to do the price in my head. No, it was less than 200. It was probably 175 ish or like 150 foot of lights and it took me about three and a half hours it's the first time in saw and i was the only guy there so i don't think that's too bad a time if i had two guys probably could have knocked it out in like two and a half hours uh and hopefully for next year they were talking about you know doing more next year so hopefully it's a real quick install next year and i think christmas lights is just an awesome way to get recurring revenue i haven't tried it this year yet because i'm just kind of feeling out the waters right now and seeing if i like the service but i see a lot of people doing like three-year contracts two-year contracts, five-year contracts. So that's just an awesome way to lock in, you know, tens of thousands of dollars of business for upcoming years. All right, on the second one, did the layout. Um, <laughs> got, I got, oh no. Gonna go and start with the roof line. Always start with the roof lines. Go up and down all these peaks, which should take a while actually. Uh, I'll have Owen on the ground doing the mini lights. And then I'm not sure what we're gonna do about power yet. Gonna have to run up one of the downspouts, but might be that one right there. Actually, we'll see. I'll let you know. Haven't been recording a lot of this, but got these two peaks done. I'm gonna go check some bulb up here real quick. Had to use the 32 foot on the right side of the house. This guy's so weird. Oh, he's not fully on there. these shingles are really secure to the edge of the roof which just means it's a good roof so i gotta bend back that tab and then install the shingle or install the tab remember to always peak every bolt or put a bolt on every peak at least when you can and then make sure it's symmetrical on both sides looks like this one's got to come out a little bit symmetrical and then just I'm gonna continue the same pattern all the way down this bolt right here is giving me some trouble anyway about halfway done uh, just gotta do these two peaks I'm gonna run power from that outlet in the front to a bunch of inline females for the mini lights at the bottom and then 
I'm also going to run it up the downspout to the first story and put a little inline female right before the last female. So that way, this side's powered by the inline female and the other side's powered by the end female. All right, all wrapped up here. Didn't film too much of it, but got a good amount of content on the first one, so it's all right. All this push is done. Came out absolutely awesome. I love this house. Did the whole right side too, that column's lit up. A lot of inline females, had a little, had a couple bulbs out and that strand of mini lights on the column wasn't working. But we got everything situated. I'm gonna take some pictures now and uh, check in with you guys later. See ya.